Now, Oppo, as you all know, is one of the biggest smartphone manufacturers in the world, and the company has a lot of Android phones under its portfolio. But what you might not know is that the brand used to be a legend in the audio segment back in the day and would sell anything from a pair of planar magnetic earphones to high performance high end DAX. Now, that division closed a while ago, but the company is pouring back into the audio segment and recently launched these. Now, these, my friends, are the Oppo Enco M31 earphones, and they sound so good that NBA legend Kenny Smith would have this to say to any other manufacturer competing in the 2000 to 1500 rupees price segment. Oh, it's Now, I've already spoiled the ending for this video, but I would still recommend that you sit through this entire video to understand why these Enco M31 earphones are actually good and where exactly do they struggle when it comes to the competition. But guys, before we get on with the video, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any awesome tech content that we put out. Now that you have done that, let's get on with the video. Now for future references, if you ever feel that an OEM is cutting costs in the design department, then do link them back to the Sopo Enco M31 review because these earphones are proof that you can design a good looking pair of earphones with limited budget. Now don't let their all black, a little generic aesthetic fool you. The M31 looks superb and you can easily find traces of elegance all over its design, be it the subtly placed Oppo logo or the glossy trim for the buttons. Now if you want the maximum style points, then definitely go for the green color with the golden accent. Since so it could be the product shots, but that earphone in that combination looks great. Okay, I'd also like to point out that the Oppo Enco M31 is as sturdy as it is beautiful, and the wires that connect into these earpieces are actually quite thick, and I'm sure that they'll stand the test of the time. Now, the neckband itself feels extremely solid, and thanks to its flexible design, you can easily store it in your pockets. And the pair also comes with IPX5 rating, which means that you can work out with the M31 in your ears. Now, compared to the OnePlus Bullet Z, I feel that personally the Oppo Enco M31 looks better but design is a subjective entity so instead of dwelling on that let me tell you why objectively the design of the Oppo Enco M31 is superior to that of the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. Now firstly the ear dips. Now the M31s offer a snug in your fit and the ear pieces don't protrude outwards like they do on the OnePlus Bullets Z meaning you can comfortably sleep with the M31 still in your ears. Now secondly the weight. Now I know that the Bullet Z are lightweight but the M31s are even lighter in comparison and at just 22 grams the only time I realized I was wearing the earphones was when they ran out of juice which happened quite frequently but more on that later. Now the buttons offer fantastic tactility too and after using the headset for a while I could just change the music or variate the volume level by feel. Now speaking of which, you do get a volume rocker and a multi-function button with the Oppo Enco M31. You can long press on the volume rocker to go forward or backward on a song and double tap on the multi-function button to enable the bass mode. Now a single tap on the multi-function key plays or pauses the track and much like competing earphones, you can turn the M31s on or off by snapping the magnetic earphone shut. Now, now, I will agree that the OnePlus Z's multifunction button that lets you quickly switch between two different connected devices is a godsend, but that is a small price to pay when uh, you factor in the Oppo Enco M31 sound quality, so let's talk about that. Okay, now before I talk about the M31 sound quality, allow me to run some numbers by you. So the M31 comes with a 9.2mm dynamic driver inside each earpiece and the earphones connect to compatible devices over Bluetooth version 5.0. Plus, since these are high risk certified, the M31 can operate across a frequency spectrum of 20Hz to 40kHz. And to make the most of high quality tracks, the M31 also offers support for LDAC codec. Now support for LDAC alone makes this earphone a much better buy over the OnePlus Bullets wireless Z my opinion but the sound signature is much more refined too. Now first of all the M31 is the only Bluetooth earphone under Rs 3000 which honestly can give audiophiles on a budget immense satisfaction when listening to music. Now Oppo has tuned this earphone incredibly well and it offers a really balanced sound signature which makes it exceptional for analytical listening. By that I mean that the sound signature is exactly the opposite of what you get with the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. So while the Bullets offer a thumping bass which overshadows the mids and mucks up the highs, the Oppo Enco M31s let you listen to 
to the song as is. So if the song is of the EDM genre, you will be greeted by tight concise beats with just the right amount of slam. Now a good example of the same is the song Risk by singer FKG where in the entirety of the song you will love the amazing vocals of the singer but at the same time when the chorus comes along you will feel the intensity of the beat drop. Oh and the instrument separation on the M31s is fantastic too. Now when listening to For Aisha by Member, you will be surprised by how cleanly the M31 dissolves the details in the instruments in the chorus and the faintest tap of the tabla is audible through the earphones. Now another instance of the M31's brilliance is showcased in Some Nights by Fun which I don't have to tell you is a very chaotic soundtrack and here you will be able to listen to the pull ups and the hammer downs of the electric guitar just as clearly as you would be able to listen to the thumping drums or Nate's vocals. Now same goes for the highs and rock songs sounded sparkly and energetic without fatiguing my ears either. A combination that's very hard to find by the way. See every time I get a pair of earphones for review I always make it a point to revisit Mr. Brightside by Killers and the M31s are among the handful of sub 5000 rupees earphones which actually do justice to it. The strums from the guitar sound great but the crispness in the sound the cymbal makes is what sold me on the pair's ability to deliver crystal clear highs. And the best part is that if you feel like you need more bass then you can get more bass by simply double tapping this button and these earphones would essentially then start sounding like the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. It really skews up the sound signature and I'm not the biggest fan of it but the bass mode essentially makes these sound similar to the Bullets Wireless Z. Now surely there must be some caveat, some hidden terms and conditions which Oppo isn't telling us about, right? I mean how do Bluetooth earphones that cost so less sound so good? Well that's because they have really average battery life. In fact, with the LDAC enabled and listening to earphones at about 60% volume, you'd be lucky if you touch the 6 hour mark. So yeah, battery life on the M31s is not great and it's not their strong suit. Connectivity wise, the M31 offers a rock solid Bluetooth connection which rarely ever faltered but don't expect them to offer you latency free experience while gaming. Now for that, OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z are still the better option as they do offer a latency free gaming experience, well at least sort of, especially if you pair it with a OnePlus phone uh, playing the game in fanatic mode. Now you'll still want a pair of wide earphones for that but yeah, uh, the Bullets Wireless Z definitely offer lesser latency when compared to the Oppo Enco M31. Oh and the microphone is really good for taking voice calls or so I was told whenever I asked my friend on the other line. So for its asking price of Rs 2000, the Oppo Enco M31 is an absolute steal. Honestly, I can go on and on and on about how good these earphones sound and for the price, that rarely ever happens. In fact, the last time I was so amped about reviewing a budget oriented earphone was when I reviewed these, the Google Pixel Buds Type C. And since then, I have auditioned a ton of different earphones, both wired and wireless, so let me be absolutely clear. The Oppo Enco M31 sound phenomenal. No, they do not offer the best battery life and if you want that then you can either opt for the Realme Buds Wireless or the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z. But for the price, if you want the best possible sounding Bluetooth earphone, then look no further than the Oppo Enco M31. But guys, that wraps up my full review of the Oppo Enco M31 earphones. Do let me know in the comments below which one would you prefer to buy. Would you buy the OnePlus Bullets Wireless Z or would you buy the Enco M31? And also, if you enjoyed this video, do give us a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Until next time, this is Prateek from Mr. Phone signing off.